My name is Hideyuko Anjo. I'm a normal second year student in high school who doesn't stand out much. Despite being a very plain and boring guy, I had a huge problem. Ugh. What do I do? What am I supposed to talk about with her? Chisaki Anjo is a stepsister I got after my parents remarried. She's a first year high school student and goes to a different rich princess school than I do. According to rumors, she was extremely popular at her school. I'm under the same roof as someone completely out of my league. But we're a family now. I can't get carried away. Now that we're, si now that we're siblings, I'm going to be an older brother that she can depend on. I was motivated, but uh, ever since we became a family, she's been extremely cold and unfriendly to me. I met her a couple of times before dad got married, but I feel like she was friendlier back then. I'm not sure why, but it seemed like my stepsister disliked me. I guess it makes sense. You can't just ask a girl to think of some random guy as her family member right away. I'm sure there are a lot of things to be confused about after suddenly becoming a family. I don't want to do anything to rush you either. Uh... You can take things slowly at, at your own pace, Chisaki-chan. Chisaki? Huh? You called me by my name. Oh, sorry that I was being so casual. Even if we're a family, we're not that close yet. I guess I can't just call her by her name. But then, what else am I supposed to call her? Uh... It doesn't seem like she's going to continue the conversation either. I never knew that becoming a family with a stranger would be this difficult. In the end, I was barely able to talk to Chisaki-chan yesterday. In fact, she became even more cold because I said unnecessary things. Hey, Hidayuki. Why do you look so depressed this early in the morning? Yuri. This overly energetic girl is named Yuri Fukugawa. And we've known each other for a long time. We also have a strange relationship. Come on, then. Ask for some advice from your older sister. We're the same age. Nothing good is going to come from asking you for advice, so I'll pass. Gosh, are you sure that you should be saying that? I'm promised to you for marriage, you know. You should treat me better, don't you think? Our parents decided that without our permission. Well, yeah, but... Yuri and I were promised to each other for marriage, just decided by our parents. It's weird to have arranged marriages nowadays, but... When we were in elementary school, people would treat us as a married couple and made a lot of fun of us. Besides, you didn't care about the arranged marriage or anything, do you? <laughs> How'd you know? Either way, it's true that I think of you as my close friend, Hideyuki. Thanks for that. We've been friends for a long time, so I already know that you're upset about your little sister too. No, that's not it. You should just be honest and depend on me, you know. I'm also a girl, so there's lots of advice that I can give you. Fine, please help me. <laughs> you should have just been honest in the beginning. Okay then, I'll go to your house after school. Let's practice there. Practice? It's fine, don't worry about it. It'll be a surprise for her. Surprise? Besides, Yuri and Chisaki-chan have different personalities. They're the complete opposite of each other. But it's true that Yuri has helped me out a couple of times. I can't just decline her help this time either. This is all for Chisaki-chan. I'm gonna do my best. I think it's been a while since I came to your place. That reminds me, you haven't come over to my house since we became high schoolers. Chisaki-chan's home right now, though. I see. I'm gonna say hi. She's a little shy, so don't be too pushy, okay? Hey! You're Chisaki-chan, correct? She's so close to her. My name is Yuri Ukagawa. I'm technically promised to be this guy's wife in the future. I know that. Oh, I see. That makes things easier then. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Is Chisaki-chan a little angry? Alright, Chisaki-chan. I'm gonna borrow your new brother. Hey, come on. Take your time. It's none of my business anyway. Oh. Hold up, hold up. Are you sure that was okay? Wasn't the mood kind of weird? It's not my fault. I have to know what kind of person she is first. Uh, that girl. What is she planning to do with Onichan in his room? Of course I knew that Onichan had a wife promised to him. Still, I can't let them do whatever they want right in front of me. The reason I was called to my brother was because of that girl. She's the root of all evil. So, I was thinking, Hideyuki. I don't think Chisaki-chan hates you. I'm not asking you to make me feel better. 
In fact, I feel like she hates me. No, Chisaki-chan is just quiet and mysterious. I don't think she hates you or anything. Besides, you haven't been around her enough for her to hate you, right? That's true, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to pretend to be Chisaki-chan, okay? I don't think you can play her role. Yuri pretended that she was Chisaki-chan so that I could practice talking to her. It seems like Yuri tried to play the role properly, but... I like you, Oni-chan. Chisaki doesn't talk that fake. At this moment, time went by much slower with Yuri than it did with Chisaki-chan. No matter what we did, it didn't feel like I was talking to anyone other than Yuri. Just like that, the practice that Yuri suggested came to an end. It's uh, not the same. You don't have the, uh, what do you call it? The classiness? The classiness that Chisaki-chan has. What did you just say? I swear I'm going to punch you. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I'm going to throw in a kick for my clueless Oni-chan. You're making fun of me at this point. All right, Oni-chan, bye. Did you stop that act already? Hmm, I guess I wanted a little more information. God, I wasted my precious after-school time because of you. But thanks for helping anyway. I was pressuring myself into handling it alone. So I feel a little better now. Yeah, exactly. The most important thing is to ask the other people for help. That's what I wanted to tell you all along. We're like actual siblings anyway. Just come to me if something happens. Yeah, you're a huge help. But if we are siblings, I'm probably the older brother. What? I'm obviously, clearly the older sister. I'm going to punch you if you don't be careful. You became extremely violent after today, didn't you? You better go back to your usual self by tomorrow. Nissan. Whoa, Chisaki-chan! I got scared because she appeared so suddenly. From now on, don't bring girls that I don't even know into our house. Well, are you talking about Yuri? I was wondering what you guys were going to do. But practicing for a play? A play? Oh, you're listening in, Chisaki-chan. I wasn't eavesdropping or anything. I just coincidentally heard your conversation when I was walking past your room. You're bothering my studies. Shoot, I guess you were being a little too loud. I'm sorry, Chisaki-chan. We'll be careful not to make too much noise next time. So yeah, we ended up bothering Chisaki-chan yesterday. What? Seriously? All we did was show off how close we were then. Not really. We didn't really show off that we were close. We were just acting the way we normally do around each other. That's true. Did you hear that our parents are going to have a meeting with us this weekend? Oh, I think I remember them mentioning that. I can't believe we're going to have the meeting at a restaurant. <laughs> I wonder what delicious foods we're going to get to eat. Come on, the meal is second in line. There might be an important discussion that we need to have. Maybe your parents want to do something to make Chisaki fit in, too. It's like a welcoming party? But why would your family be involved then? Oh, you're right. Then I guess it's a dinner party. You really are carefree, aren't you? But what actually happened was a bigger deal than what we imagined. All right, then. We're going to call off Eddie Yuki and Yuri Chan's marriage plans. After a discussion with both parents, they decided to call off the plans to marry me and Yuri, claiming that it didn't fit in with this generation. Honestly, they should have known this before they promised each other that. It seems like we're done talking, so could I dig into the meal? Aren't you at least a little bit shocked? Nope, I knew this was just an oral agreement anyway. But I guess you're in trouble since you're not guaranteed a wife anymore. There's no need to worry about that. What, well, Chisaki-chan? What's wrong? I thought you left to use the restroom. I was waiting for this very moment. Why are you talking like that? Nisan, here. These are uh, marriage papers? Exactly. Now that you're not promised a wife, you're single. In that case, it's only normal that you'd end up married to me. Come on now, Nissan. Sign these papers while our family is watching. Uh, hold on a second. I don't even know what's going on. Besides, I thought you hated me, Chisaki-chan. I don't hate you. The reason I was always cold to you is because you had a wife promised to you already. No matter how much I loved you, I couldn't get married to you if you were already promised to someone. If we weren't going to end up together, I didn't want anything that would end up breaking my heart. Chisaki-chan, that was the reason? Basically, it's all her fault. What? Me? It's because you were leading my Nissan on, 
even in his room a few days ago. Hold on, Chisaki-chan, you're scaring me. Anyway, Nissan, there's no one standing in our way anymore. Let's get married. Uh, is this happening too quickly? Why do you think we're living under the same roof? To get married, obviously. No, it's because our parents got married. Stop with the blabbering and sign. Ah, uh, I'm being blinded by the marriage papers and can't see anything. Hirayuki, if you're going to play around, can I eat your portion too? In the end, the event held to call off her marriage ended up in complete chaos because of Chisaki-chan's outburst. Even after we got home, Chisaki-chan's energy didn't stop. And it was a hassle trying to calm her down. Nissan? Ch chisaki chan What are you doing here so late? Shoot, I'm being extremely cautious of her because of what happened earlier. chisaki chan what are you doing? I'm just borrowing your bed, Nissan. If you're not going to marry me, I at least wanted to get a hold of your scent. There's a point in smelling my bed. I was able to get her off my bed somehow, but... You're pushing me away, Nissan. Does this mean you actually like that girl? You're gonna treasure some random girl rather than your family? It's not that. I'm just a little overwhelmed because you suddenly said that you love me. Then take this chance to get used to it. I've already told you that I love you. The ball is in your court now. You don't need to be so cautious. I mean, I am happy that she likes me, but this isn't exactly what I had in mind when I said I wanted to be close to her. So that happened, and I have a huge problem on my shoulders now. I see. I guess you have no choice but to give up and marry her. Yo, I'm trying to ask you for real advice. No, no, I'm being serious too. Chisaki-chan is a beautiful girl, apparently really smart and likes you. Do you have any reason to say no to her? We're siblings. Step-siblings. Now that her marriage is called off, you'll probably never get another chance to date a beauty like that again. Does that imply that you're a beauty? It's true that I can't imagine a future where a girl as beautiful as Chisaki-chan would ask me to date her in the future. Right? Stop making excuses that she's your family and actually take a good look at Chisaki-chan for once. Look at her as a girl. Yuri was acting like a good and experienced woman, which was a little annoying, but she did have a point. I had only looked at Chisaki-chan as a family member. It was because I felt empathy and hesitation for Chisaki-chan who suddenly had to become siblings with a guy she didn't even know. In that case, I have to look at Chisaki-chan differently from now on. Still, family is family. I don't think it's right to look at her romantically so suddenly. But maybe I can try to change the way I think of her at least a little bit. Maybe this will help me realize what I truly want. Nissan! Oh, Chisaki-chan! Are you on your way home? I am. Perfect timing. Let's walk home together. Chisaki-san has been so friendly recently, which is really nice. You don't have the marriage papers on you today, do you? You really surprised me that time. Huh? Of course I walk around with it. I want to be able to pull it out whenever you feel like you want to get married. Here, what do you think? <laughs> you actually do. You're very prepared. I don't want to miss out on an opportunity no matter how small. Do you want to sign it now? I even have pens prepared. Saki-chan, do you actually like me that much? Uh, of course I do! Why are you suddenly muttering that with such a sweet voice? I wasn't using a sweet voice or muttering. Uh, I was just wondering why you have feelings for someone like me. Because I've never met a guy like you, Nissan. Saki-chan opened up and told me everything. Until her mother got remarried to my father, she grew up with a single mother. Her biological father had apparently given her a hard time even during the divorce. I thought all boys were like my father. But you're different, Nissan. From the moment we met, you were so kind and considerate towards me. I didn't know Chisaki-chan had that kind of past. My stepmother was a gentle and calm person too, so I never imagined that she had gone through a hard past. But if Chisaki-chan, who had a difficult past, still claims to love and trust me, I can't help but feel like I have to do something for her. Saki-chan, you're like family to me, so I can't sign your marriage papers. Nissan. But I don't think that the way I think of you will ever change. So if we try to be a couple before we got married, I think something might change. Nissan, I'm totally okay with that. Let's begin our life as a couple. It makes me blush for you to say that so outright. All right then, Nissan. Let's do this. Oh, she wants to hold my hand. I mean, that'll be fine. 
I put out my hand for Chisaki-chan to hold, but when she grabbed a hold of my hand, she pulled me in close. Chisaki-chan had stolen my first kiss before I knew it. <laughs> What's the matter, Nissan? I, I thought you wanted to hold my hand. We're a couple, right? Kissing is totally normal. No, there are steps that people should take for things like this. You're so uptight, Nissan. All right then, I'll do as you wish. Let's hold hands on our way home. You're not gonna kiss me suddenly. <laughs> Who knows? It's cute that you end up doing whatever I want to, though. By the way, this was your first kiss, right, Nissan? You never kissed that girl, have you? No, I haven't. Wait, I wonder if we did. That girl, I swear. She's trying to beat me in everything. You should call her by her name by now. Besides, you're my girlfriend now, Chisaki-chan. You have no reason to fight with Yuri, right? You're right. You're mine and mine only. Um, I feel like Chisaki-chan has me wrapped around her finger. As I'd expected, I ended up being at the beck and call of Chisaki-chan. And a few years later, all right, here it is. We wrote both her names on the marriage papers. It took us forever since you were taking your sweet time, Nissan. Even if we were step-siblings, it was still a hassle for us to be together. Despite that, I was finally able to get married to Chisaki-chan. I'll treasure you as my wife from now on, Chisaki-chan. Nissan, I'll love you even after you become my husband. No, now that you have become my husband, I love you so, so, so much more! I had a feeling that I could get through anything and everything if I had Chisaki-chan, who loved me that much by my side. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.